Racing now to the final flight of Sizing Network on the rail. On the near side is Bogwar. Equity Swap is third. Vive la France and Casimir Road. Cash of Gold is next. See you all in Coppers, the final flight. A Sizing Network on the inside. Bogwar a mistake. In third is Equity Swap. They're on the run up towards the finish. It's a Sizing Network, the top way. Bogwar coming back at him. David Mullins, head to head, they go to the line. Bogwar on the near side for David Mullins. Got a crashing fall in the opener yesterday, but better luck today wins for Liam Cusack. Sizing Network second, see you all in coppers, battling Peru and equity swap ahead of Golden Spear. Racing down to the final flight of Sizing Network on the rail. On the near side is Bogwar. Equity Swap is third. Vive la France and Casimir Road. Cash of Gold is next. See you all in Coppers, the final flight. A Sizing Network on the inside. Bogwar a mistake. In third is Equity Swap. They're on the run up towards the finish. It's a Sizing Network, the top way. Bogwar coming back at him. David Mullins, head to head, they go to the line. Bogwar on the near side for David Mullins. Got a crashing fall in the opener yesterday, but better luck today wins for Liam Cusack. Sizing Network second, see you all in coppers, battling Peru and equity swap ahead of Golden Spear. And it's on the inside. Johnny Burke and one term turn in in front. Jackson's Lady coming there for Mark Walsh, followed by USA, and then comes Ned Buntline between horses. Upazo is making good ground to the outside as they jump this one now. It's Jackson's Lady from Ned Buntline. Upazo on the near side of USA. Down now to the final fence, Jackson's Lady and Upazo. On the inside is Ned Buntline. They're over the last. Jackson's Lady in front of Upazo. Ned Buntline in third, and then USA. And up towards the finish, it's Jackson's Lady Driven out by Mark Walsh, will score for Philip Dempsey in the colors of J.P. McManus. Apazo is second, Ned Buntline third, USA four, and then came Treat Yourself, one term, and Bold Henry. And it's on the inside. Johnny Burke and one term turn in in front. Jackson's Lady coming there for Mark Walsh, followed by USA, and then comes Ned Buntline between horses. Upazo is making good ground to the outside as they jump this one now. It's Jackson's Lady from Ned Buntline. Upazo on the near side of USA. Down now to the final fence, Jackson's Lady and Upazo. On the inside is Ned Buntline. They're over the last. Jackson's Lady in front of Upazo. Ned Buntline in third, and then USA. And up towards the finish, it's Jackson's Lady driven out by Mark Walsh. Will score for Philip Dempsey in the colors of JP McManus. Apazo is second, Ned Buntline third, USA four, and then came Treat Yourself one term and Bold Henry. So it's quarter of easy on the inside of Uncle Junior. In third place is Keep On Track. Racing now for the final fence. Quarter of easy and Nina Carberry. Uncle Junior rallying strongly on the near side for Patrick Mullins. The final fence, they fly it together. Quarter of easy on the far side. Uncle Junior on the stand side. It's neck and neck after four miles. Uncle Junior on the near side. Just going to get up to beat Quarter of easy. In third place is Keep On Track, and then Rose of the Moon followed in by Boxing Along, and Long Strand, last of the six finishers. So it's quarter of easy on the inside of Uncle Junior. In third place is Keep On Track, racing now for the final fence. Quarter of easy and Nina Carberry. Uncle Junior rallying strongly on the near side for Patrick Mullins. The final fence, they fly it together. Quarter of easy on the far side. Uncle Junior on the stand side. It's neck and neck after four miles. Uncle Junior on the near side. Just going to get up to beat Quarter of easy. In third place is Keep On Track. And then Rose of the Moon followed in by Boxing Along and Long Strand. Last of the six finishers.
Jetson is the leader. Jeski and Hurricane Fly racing now into a dangerous territory now as they bid for three miles for the first time. And Jeski goes for home for Mark Walsh. Hurricane Fly towards the outside. Ruby Walsh, they're down to the final flight. It doesn't make any difference what distance they run. They're going to throw up a, a great deal of entertainment. But today is Jeski's day, leading Hurricane Fly towards the finish. Jeski over three miles is going to get the better of Hurricane Fly and Jeski and Mark Walsh win for J.P. McManus. In second place is Hurricane Fly and you don't often say that. Third is Zabana, fourth home is Lieutenant Colonel. Now they're into the straight. Jetson is the leader. Jeski and Hurricane Fly racing now into a dangerous territory now as they bid for three miles for the first time. And Jeski goes for home for Mark Walsh. Hurricane Fly towards the outside. Ruby Walsh, they're down to the final flight. It doesn't make any difference what distance they run. They're going to throw up a, a great deal of entertainment. But today is Jeski's day, leading Hurricane Fly towards the finish. Jeski over three miles is going to get the better of Hurricane Fly and Jeski and Mark Walsh win for J.P. McManus. In second place is Hurricane Fly and you don't often say that. Third is Zabana, fourth home is Lieutenant Colonel. Never said that next. A bit of a break then to give me a break. Wicked Spice, no secrets. Heller in this hullabaloo drops away. Racing down towards the final flight. Pleasant Company, Ruby Walsh now taken on and headed by Avon 2 on the near side. The stable companion under Danny Mullins who just lands in the lead. Racing up now towards the finish and it's Avon 2 stretching on a couple of lengths in front of Pleasant Company. Rogue Trader running on on the outside. We'll take that one at the second. But Avon 2 and Champion Chase winning jockey Danny Mullins has won from Road Trader Pleasant Company never said that and they're followed in by mine now no secrets is next followed by Rogue Trader. Never said that next. A bit of a break then to give me a break. Wicked Spice, no secrets. Heller in this hullabaloo drops away. Racing down towards the final flight. Pleasant Company, Ruby Walsh now taken on and headed by Avon 2 on the near side. The stable companion under Danny Mullins who just lands in the lead. Racing up now towards the finish and it's Avon 2 stretching on a couple of lengths in front of Pleasant Company. Rogue Trader running on on the outside. We'll take that one at the second but Avon 2 and champion chase winning jockey Danny Mullins has won from Road Trader Pleasant Company. Never said that and they're followed in by mine now. No secrets is next. Racing down towards the second last, and it is Undersco in the lead. Out in front of two fences from home, safely over from Just Cameron, to his credit, is keeping at it in second. Undersco from Just Cameron on the near side, and then comes Real Steel as Undersco comes now towards the 11th and final fence, and safely over from Just Cameron on the outside of Ted Veal. Real Steel the inside, but running up towards the finish. Undersco pushed out by Ruby Walsh and has made all to win the Ryanair. Novice Chase beats a gallant runner-up in the shape of just Cameron. In third place is Ted Veal, Real Steel 4, a melodic rendezvous a long way back. Racing down towards the second last, and it is Undersco in the lead. Out in front of two fences from home, safely over from Just Cameron, to his credit, is keeping at it in second. Undersco from Just Cameron on the near side, and then comes Real Steel as Undersco comes now towards the 11th and final fence, and safely over from Just Cameron on the outside of Ted Veal. Real Steel the inside, but running up towards the finish. Undersco pushed out by Ruby Walsh, and has made all to win the Rhine there, Novice Chase beats a gallant runner-up in the shape of just Cameron. In third place is Ted Veal, Real Steel 4, a melodic rendezvous a long way back.
and Anamatepe on the outside moves to join. Melbourne Lady with White out making ground right down the outside of Stable Companions, Uran and Lyrical Theatre. Five almost in line now as they come to the final flight in the Orchid Transport Mare's Novice Hurdle and White out on the near side of Uran as they come out over the final flight. They're followed by Lyrical Theatre. Cab Joy on the outside is running on late, but it's White out in the lead from Uran. A break of three legs back to Cab Joy. White out is all out under Paul Tannen, but holds Stable Companion Uran. We're a number nine of the week for Willie Mullins. Lyrical Theatre third, then Cab Joy are running on Hannah's Princess. Melbourne Lady and Anna Matapea. And Anna Matapea on the outside moves to join. Melbourne Lady with White out making ground right down the outside of Stable Companions, Uran and Lyrical Theatre. Five almost in line now as they come to the final flight in the Orchid Transport Mare's Novice Hurdle. And White out on the near side of Uran as they come out over the final flight. They're followed by Lyrical Theatre. Cab Joy on the outside is running on late, but it's White out in the lead from Uran. A break of three legs back to Cab Joy. White out is all out under Paul Town. But holds stable companion Urana. We're a number nine of the week for Willie Mullins. Lyrical Theatre third, then Cab Joy. A running on Hannah's Princess, Melbourne Lady, and Anna Matapea. But it's your kill and Patrick Mullins who have gone. Clear, racing now to the final furling and a half. York Hill chase some five, six lengths back by OK Corral. And then up for review, Solatentif and Sandy Mount Duke. But York Hill is way out in front now, racing towards the final furlong. OK Corral second, but York Hill has them really strung out in the closing stages. About six lengths in front of OK Corral and running up towards the finish. It is York Hill and Patrick Mullins. It's a double for him as he's that way. Willie hits the double figure mark of 10. York Hill beats OK Corral, who closed at the finish of the race. They're well clear of up for review. Sandy Mount Duke, newsworthy next ahead of Stola Tentif. Racing now to the final furling and a half. York Hill chase some five, six lengths back by OK Corral. And then up for review, Sola Tentif and Sandy Mount Duke. But York Hill is way out in front now, racing towards the final furlong. OK Corral second, but York Hill has them really strung out in the closing stages, about six lengths in front of OK Corral, and running up towards the finish. It is York Hill and Patrick Mullins. It's a double for him, as his dad Willie hits the double figure mark of 10. York Hill beats OK Corral, who closed at the finish of the race, they're well clear of up for review. Sandy Mount Duke, newsworthy next ahead of Stola Tentif.